Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into the Mirror Challenge once again inside of Clash Royale, where we're going to be going mono e mono versus the same deck and trying to pick up some flawless victories. Now, so far in the Mirror Challenge, things have been good. I'm actually undefeated, except for that one tragic loss you guys saw where I disconnected and my iPad exploded. And uh, let's go and get into some battles today. Should be a good time, and let's get into battle number one right now. Now, before we get into battle, today's video was sponsored by Star Pirates Infinity, which is an awesome free-to-play collectible card game available on both Android as well as iOS. I've been playing it for a little bit. It's really fun. You choose between one of four factions, and just like any other CCG, you're trying to take out your opponent, and I feel like I got the hang of it. It really only took me a couple of minutes to get up to speed through their tutorial, and then I was actually going out and fighting other players. I think I actually played a developer, and it, it was a really fun time. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Download Star Pirates Infinity in the description below on both iOS and Android, and uh, yeah. Let's go and get into our very first battle right now. So here we go. Starting off battle number one, let's go ahead and get this pop. And we're at zero crowns right now, so we have to make sure this one works. And uh, try to pick up as many crowns as possible. Now, obviously, you don't have to actually try to win every single battle. Obviously, you want to, but, you know, if you don't win, you still do get the crowns for the reward. One mirror is sort of sketchy, but it is free to play the daily practice mode, so that's pretty fun. And uh, let's see what happens. I assume this weekend, you know, uh, things are going to be a little bit crazy, but let's go and get into this practice right now to see if we can clean up shop and uh, 20 seconds left on the clock. Now, there's been some crazy decks coming out. I, I wish, you know, I might have had a little bit more time to look at the decks in the very beginning. First of all, I have a terrible habit where I fast forward, but let's see what our decks is or deck is right now. We're gonna have three Musketeers, Graveyard, Inferno Dragon, Bridge Map. See, it goes so fast in the very beginning, it's a hard time to like sort of calculate what you're doing with your deck. So maybe like 10 seconds to look at the deck would be nice to start off the game. But anyways, let's go and start off with our archers right here. He's gonna end up playing his Night Witch. We'll see who wins this trade. I'll get my Night Witch ready on this right hand side. Mirror Night Witch is actually probably a pretty good idea, to be honest. Let's see if he is too afraid to do it. Looks like he is. And I actually didn't see much direct damage inside of this deck. Let's see if we can do something right here. His Night Witch is going to explode, by the way. My Night Witch is going to go in. Three Musketeers are going to go down. And these three Musketeers are probably going to be brutal. Now, we're going to play our three Musketeers in his face. Actually, should we? I think we should play Barbarians instead. Let's get ready for our Barbarians instead, as our mirrored Night Witch meets its death. Archer's gonna run across. Oh, wow. I'm about to get destroyed right here. We have to get our archers ready for this graveyard. Princess is gonna turn around to help out the tower. Barbarians did do work as his princess goes down. And so far, we're getting a little schooled right now, but we didn't end up taking end of the world damage. Now, I'm gonna try something very interesting. I'm gonna try a graveyard, even though this barbarian's dying right here. Look at the mirrored princesses. Oh man, our mirrored princess is about to win this game. One barbarian did connect onto his princess, so that did really well. Skeleton's actually gonna kill that second princess. And look at the princess in this lane. This princess is putting in so much work in this left-hand lane. Tower is getting destroyed. I could even drop a mirrored graveyard, but that's pretty dang troll. So let's get ready with our three musts right now and to see if we can clean up. All right, three musts is going in. One's going to go to the left, two going to the right. Actually, two going to go to the left, two to clean up this Night Witch. Beautifully done. He's probably going to play Barbarians on top of everything. I know his exact deck. I know his counters and what's going to go down. Inferno Dragon is a little bit useless inside of this, so I don't want to worry on, about that too much. Could be seeing a graveyard, so let's make sure we keep calm. Another princess going down, and wow, this is... Uh, a very fascinating start to this game, guys. Princesses are proving to be OP right now. I think we might have to make sure we keep our princesses in line. Let's get a princess down over here to clean this up. Double princess blast to the face. And uh, this is fascinating. Double princesses. Three musketeers going to go down. That's not a good play at all, though. He should know that I have barbarians inside of my hand since we're playing literally the same exact deck. So those three musketeers are going to be taken out easily, plus the archer. Got a graveyard for this right-hand lane if I want to do it. Let's go and get our night witch down right now. Graveyard's going in as well. And this battle is about to be gravy because that tower should go down to zero. Princess going in on this left-hand side to clean up this tower over here. And guys, it is princess mania right now. Another princess to the face to clean up shop. Archer's going to try to help out against this Night Witch. Okay, that Princess was a little bit aggressive that I played. I'll be the first one to admit it. But that should be the end of Tower, or game number one, with 15 seconds left. Nicely done right there, guys. Let's get the Night Witch down one more time to try to finish this off. Inferno Dragon going to go in. He's going to go for one more Graveyard right here, trying to finish this one off with a 3-crown. I don't think it's going to happen right here, but GG, well played to RD. Tower's burning down so quickly, but just not enough time. Only one or two more seconds and we would have picked up that 3-crown. Nicely done. GG, well played. All right, two crowns in my very first battle not the worst thing in the world let's pick up our crowns right there looks like we are almost at that gold which honestly does nothing for me on my main account seeing as i'm basically already maxed out but anyways let's keep this up let's keep this up hopefully stay undefeated unless we have a lag explosion inside of the mirror challenge 
And uh, yeah, the mirror battle has been pretty good. This has actually been one of the best received challenges I've seen since the game has come out. I've been checking on Reddit. I've been checking you guys on Twitter and everyone seems to actually really like it because, uh, you know, obviously a lot of the excuses for losing are taking away. Look at this deck right here, by the way. I, I really need more time. You need more time to be able to tell what's going on right here um, for sure. And uh, just judging off my first thought, I saw a balloon or I saw a wizard and I saw Ewiz and instantly I thought minion hordes probably going to be pretty useless. So I don't want to rock it too much inside of this battle. Anyways, I'm going to mirror my wizard right here because we both are thinking the same exact thing wizard's gonna go in he's probably gonna mirror his wizard too yeah always always so original some of these people so this is gonna go down over here and since we do still have the same exact hands um i'm even gonna play my ewis but this is probably gonna get actually no this was a terrible play mistakes have been made okay yeah that didn't work out the best let's see what he does he's gonna play his own ewis it's gonna be a little bit too late though the wizard will get one hit on the tower two hits on the tower not the worst thing in the world at all and here comes the balloon parade all right mini packet to clean up that ewis right there minion horde's gonna clean this up beautifully done all right, and there's his minion horde. This is going to be a serious barn burner of a game. Wow, we did get a mini P.E.K.K.A. hit on that tower, though. That was pretty beautiful right there. Let's get our wizard out to clean up this push again. And man, this is a serious battle. No damage taken to our tower, but I have no idea how we're going to get this done. Now, Log is going to be sort of worthless. There's not a lot of spells. I haven't seen very many spells inside of this game mode at all. Log is actually one of the first ones I've seen. Actually, this log's going to do work on this mini P.E.K.K.A., hopefully. Mirrored mini P.E.K.K.A., we just got rocked right here. we got to play our Ewis. Oh, bad Ewis placement. I'd rather have the tower die than take that shot. Man, that was bad. All right, bad Ewis placement leads to a, a negative elixir trade. But still, everything's fine. Minute and 20 left on the clock. Left-hand tower's looking low. We want to keep this a one-tower game because he does have spread damage between both of our towers. And uh, let's go and see if we can get that done. The Inferno Dragon, once again, proving to be pretty useless for us. So I'm going to get my Ewis down here. And uh, he's actually going to play his E-Wiz in the other lane, so we've got our mini P.E.K.K.A. saved up. But how in the world do we protect our balloon? Someone tell me that. All right, well, I'm going to let that do its thing. Here goes everything. He's oh, no. Oh, we just got destroyed. We just got destroyed by that uh, beautiful wizard. We're going to take a lot of... Actually, no, we're not going to take any balloon damage. Did you see what he did? He juked me with the balloon and then played the wizard right after. I had that thought in my head, but I never actually went and did it. 308 damage left is almost within mere log range, which would actually be pretty epic. But instead, we're going to get ready with our wizard. Actually, mere wizard. Let's mere wizard this. Oh, he's got a hiding mini pack of two. Mini pack is going to be hidden right there. It's going to get a hit. Wow, 10% battery. Don't you dare cheese me again. That was so ridiculous last time. Double wizard going in hot. And it's time for yet another balloon parade. Wizard going down. He just played his wizard in this lane, so he has to have something. Log's going to go in. Balloon's going to make it to the tower, guys. That's going to be the end of that tower. And I actually felt pretty good about the game until this came out right here. And oh, man. Wait, look at the minion horde and the balloon onto the tower. That's going to be so much damage going on right there. GG, well played. That should be the end. Balloon's going to knock that down to zero. Three crowns. And we're only one win away from picking up that perfect little practice all right three to one nicely done i got a little scared when he got his push going i played the e-wiz which wasn't the best card because obviously he just played a minion horde right on top of my face afterwards uh which just destroyed my e-wiz especially because i didn't get that splash damage when i dropped him down but still that's gonna be a clean num win number two let's go and get into battle number three ten percent battery so I'm a little bit afraid. I don't want to have any rage quits and have you guys making any more of those compilation videos. Final battle is going to be against Nesquik. I skipped through and I have no idea what I'm playing. All right, I've got Balloon. I've got Bowler, Princess Ice Spirit. Princess, by the way, so good inside of the mirror mode. Just because there's like a real big lack of spells. Oh, he does have Torn... Well, we do have Tornado right here. All right, let's go and make sure we take this out right... Guess what I'm about to do. You guys already know the mirrored Ice Spirit is just dirty right there. That's going to be able to take that out uh wait no we're about to get killed by this princess feels bad man no let's go in time to go in guys time to go in right here balloons going in hot giants actually already reaching the tower that should be an end of tower number one princess is gonna go in no possible way he defends this push look at my princess doing work on his level two princess nicely done this tower is getting blasted by the balloon right here for hit number one princess is going to lock onto this tower as well the balloon's going to be too slow i think to get hit number two but not the end of the world by any means and guys the balloon is going to be so op inside of this game mode i can't even start to tell you uh, just looking at this mode so far we're looking at everything going down right here the balloon is just going to simply clean up as this giant goes in, we're actually going to suck everything together for our bowler. Let's see if we can make this work, but oh man, we've got the balloon, an angry balloon onto our tower. I'll play an ice wizard. I don't think that's going to be able to do much against this balloon parade, and that's going to mean major damage on this tower. Actually, the ice wizard did better than I thought. I thought it would get a guaranteed two hits right there, and we're looking okay. All right, balloon, once again, going to be the name of the game right here. Bowler's going to make its way across. Let's see how that works. 
Ice Spirit is going to go right there. And uh, how do we want to make this happen? Do we mirror balloon? Is that a mo is that a move right here? Let's get our princess down instead. If he plays a bowler, we'll play our bowler. Okay, that'll be fine. Bowler's going to go down in a moment. There it goes. All right, we'll get our tower helping out. This ice wizard should die in its path. And we're actually setting up a really nice push right here. We can do the giant in front of our bowler to get some serious damage. Ice wizard is just taking forever for him. This is looking pretty good right now. Let's get our giant going in. But how do we take care of this pretty, pretty princess? That is the name of the game, guys. Well, here's an, a giant. We've got much more to worry about right now. That's going to be a giant going down this lane. Ice Spirit's going to help out. I mean, we're going to play a tornado to bring this backwards. I think our balloon is definitely going to take that tower out. Ooh, I'm a little bit scared about his princess horde that he's building out. That's going to be... That would be one of the most scary cards inside of Clash Royale, by, by the way. The princess horde would be ridiculous. And as his princess goes in, I'm going to play my princess. It's going to get the first hit right here on his princess. That's going to work out that well. Oh, shoot! The princess shot just beautifully. Ice Spirit's going to go in. That should be the end of this balloon, guys. Nicely done. And this should be a clean win number three. And, uh, wow, this has been a princess battle to say the least. Really tough to do anything with these princesses flying in your face. Another giant's gonna go down in the center. Balloon's gonna help out, too. He's gotta do a tornado or something as we play our princess, or our tornado right here to try to clean some stuff up. Ice Spirit to help out against his princess. Make that a mirrored Ice Spirit, ladies and, gel ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, we did have a little bit of a lag glitch right there, but GG, well played. And that's gonna finish off a perfect set of mirror challenge battles. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. Let's go ahead and get our reward of one mirror inside of the game. All right, we'll take however we can get it, and that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop that like. Once again, Princess is OP. Spells are not around often in this game, so make sure you utilize it. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.